Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Dynamic Coder. In the last video, we have seen that how to install Windows Server 2019 in VMware Workstation. So if you are not aware about or if you want the ISO image for Windows Server 2019, you can go to my previous video and under link description, I have uh, gave the uh, the link uh, address of my Google Drive. So you can download it from there and you can install by watching the same video as well. And uh, in this video, we're going to see that how we can perform or how we'll create uh, Active Directory Domain Controller. So let's get started. Uh, go to Add Roles and Features. Okay, when you open the Windows Server machine, uh, from the first, uh, we'll select Server Manager. When you select this Server Manager, now go to Add Roles and Features. Click on Next, select Role Based. Click on Next. Uh, leave this option by default and here I have already installed the window a uh, domain service here so this is uh, already tick mark but uh, for you you just have to select this option go to next and when you select uh, the same option you will you will find that the group policy management is also ticked uh, by default so for me both the options are grayed out but for you you just uh, you can see here that uh, for you, you you will see here that your option is already been selected. Okay, now click on install. For me, it is grayed out because it already been uh, installed. So for uh, once you're done, now go to this flag. You will see here the post deployment configuration is pending for me as well. Click on promote this server. Now select the forest. Yeah, so here uh, it is giving me that root domain name. So I'll give the name as max.com. Okay, click on next. Yeah, uh, now uh, for this, uh, leave all the option as default. If you want RODC uh, now, so you can select otherwise you can also go to tools and you can install RODC if you want uh, this service in future as well. Now uh, give the password so you can give the password of your choice. Okay, click on next. Okay, create DNS delegation. No, I'll leave it as it is. You will see here that uh, my domain, uh, uh, whatever I gave the name of my domain, you can see it here. So it is uh, here by default. Uh, click on next. Okay, now you will see here the database folder name, leave it as it is. Now click on next. This is given as prerequisite checks. So uh, this takes some time to refresh. Yeah, so you'll see here that uh, this is all prerequisite checks pass successfully and click on install so we are clicking on install button so just wait for a while till the time the installation get completed and i am keeping this video as on pause because i don't want this video to be and uh, to increase its size so you'll see here that the installation is done and uh, this is all refresh refreshing once it is done Let's wait for a while. We'll see here that all the setting has done. And now I am starting the 
server is so you can see here uh, that I have to log in it as the admin of max as I as we gave the domain name as max.com so I am logging login it using my password which I have set during uh, login of ADDC okay now you can see here uh, I'll show you now when you logging it using your uh, domain controller or domain name you can see here go to the local server when you go to the local server you have all the details regarding uh, your uh, windows server so you can see here that under domain name this is max.com this is our computer name so you can uh, you can able to see now that we have created our domain successfully and you you can see here that the ip address assigned using dhcp so we'll learn everything in our future video that how we'll assign our ip addresses manually because right now it is taking ip address by dhcp okay and these are all the details so that's all for today and uh, thank you so much for watching my video and if you really like my content then please like share and subscribe to my channel yeah thank you